and it has been a good night. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show, Maryland 75 45 over the St. Peter's Peacocks. You're going to say Peacock much on the Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. Well, I was just going to say, that's about to change. We're going to have a lot of things on Peacock coming up next year. We are? What's yeah, that? Well, the new TV deal. So there will be a lot more. This will preview of the word Peacock on uh, Turp Talk. Look, uh, Julian Reese didn't play. Patrick Emelian had a solid game as a center forward. Yeah, I took pictures in the first half set actually on the court. And, and in the picture day, it didn't look like Maryland was doing that much. But they come out with a 35 to 19 lead, and uh, Hart was really solid in the first half. Second half, Maryland blows the doors off of them. What did you see? Yeah, it felt like you were watching uh, the team that we thought Maryland was going to be. A, a good team that when they don't even have their best night, you still look up at the scoreboard, and it's dominant. And that's what we kind of saw out of Maryland uh, early in the year. They've lost it in, in the more challenging games, but... It's good when you play these games to know that you're expecting to win and win by a lot. That's something that's a little, I think is a little bit new to this team. But, you know, I was asked on the pod if we had any concerns. I said no, and uh, I'm happy that they proved me right tonight. Hey, before we get too deep into this, thanks to Rick Jacklich and, of course, uh, our home team, IT Group, Viner Fourgates, for the sponsorship all year. This is the last basketball game we're going to do. We will see you from Charlotte after the Duke's Mayo Bowl where the Terps take on NC State. With Viner Four Gates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket, every call, all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Four Gates, for making your company work is our primary mission. I like having the opportunity to see a lot of the guys you don't see a lot of. It looks like we're finally trying to build some depth out there. Swinton Rogers didn't do much. Noah Baxter makes the 1-3. I think that if you look for hope for three-point shooting, Noah Baxter might be that hope. Yeah, the conversation with the guys I got to sit with tonight kind of changed uh, as, as the game progressed to what is valuable when you're up by 30 with eight minutes left in the game? What 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 are we going to take away from this? And I think right now for Maryland, it's getting guys like Bachelor minutes who you need to contribute down the line. Swanton Rogers the same. We have a long list of players that we're going to need to develop with Juju Reese being injured, with other injuries that could come up, and just needing more players to compete in big moments. Uh, that, that's what you have to do when when you're winning is, is look to develop. Jameer Young picks it back up, 16 points. Certainly was not overmatched tonight. Um, but, boy, Donald Carey having some trouble shooting the ball. You've coached a lot of kids at shooting different sport. How do you get somebody back on track if they shouldn't be able to shoot, just can't throw the ball in the ocean from the beach right now? Well, right now I think the, the focus has to be on getting set plays that are going to move the ball to them and, and look to get them open shots. You hope that eventually they break through, but you start to wonder at some point, is there something about this gym that makes it hard for guys that can really shoot the ball to succeed? Because if you look at the list of players that have come through from guys like Logan Ehrenholt uh, through Turgeon's years, Herder, a guy who could shoot the ball fantastic in the NBA, had, had hit snags and is shooting. Hakeem Hart, a guy that can shoot the ball. Jared Nickens, a name that comes to mind. Deion Wiley, the list goes on and on and on of guys that have come in here, been able to succeed in the short term, but not been able to hit threes in the long term. But bottom line is his addition to this team is supposed to be being able to shoot if he can't do that you got to start looking at the bench and saying who's my option who can we put in that maybe contributes more somewhere else especially offensively Ian Martinez brings it defensively he, he, everybody likes energy he brings he only had four points tonight but overall Maryland just physically superior and you got to remember if Maryland's even or physically superior, the system that Kevin Willard throws out there wins, and it wins big. And it's so far, it's a short sample, but it wins consistently. So uh, give me 10 seconds or less. How did Maryland do in the football recruiting? I think they did really well. 
juggernaut. You know, added players on the edge. They really need to find effective players at that Sam linebacker spot and the Jack linebacker spot. They bring in a lot of depth there. More than one guy. They're not just going to be relying on one guy at those spots. A lot of work left to do in the portal on the O and D line. Yeah, need some big guys in the middle. I'm looking forward to this uh, bowl game. It's certainly not the same NC State team nor the same Maryland team that you saw at the end of the year with all the transfers, but it's still football. It's still a bowl game. Two bowl games in a row start to build that football tradition that we need. And with that, uh, if this is the last show that you see this year, thanks for watching. Have a great 2023, and that'll do it. I'm Wayne, that's space, and good evening from Xfinity Center, Maryland, 75, St. Peter's, 45.